Hello my fellow aliens, I'm the Lady of Nemesis and welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. Last time we took out Eva Morkat and talked with a mercenary called Bane Misani who had been trying to find ways into the cat base on Eos. After helping him with his quest, we went in search of a scientist and tracked her remains to a remnant facility. We notified the Nexus of her death and then made preparations to attack the cat base. Work rosters. That data pad mentioned the name Jennings. Here, Axel Jennings, a scientist set up weather monitoring devices all over the desert. Too many locations to check them all. We need to narrow it down. said you might swing by. Raiden, yes? Dr. Ramirez, run the clinic here on Eos. Much better than life as an Alliance medic. Good to meet you. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? What's it like living in our first successful outpost? More rewarding than I thought. My patients are the neighbors I see every day. I have to be on the lookout for any new diseases, sure. I know exactly who I'm staying vigilant for. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Preferably unhurt. This definitely treated wounds caused by a remnant. That data pad said the work crew tried to control them. Sand particles were removed from the wound. Analyzing. Comparing with locations from the work roster, it's likely the injury occurred near a monolith. Sign of that work crew, but someone left their gear behind. Wait, I've got an open comm channel. Easy money. Once he left, 
electrical charge built up, we'll have ourselves some nice, obedient remnant. You better be sure this time, Jennings. If you're that spooked, go hide behind the four giants. I'm busy. Hostiles ahead! Eos feels more like a home, but it's still mostly hard work. Eos will have holidays, once we figure out the seasons. Help us! Please! Your experiment with the Remnant didn't work out? Huh. Okay, who squealed? Gasparic? Yeah, I bet. These Remnant could plow our fields, protect us from the Ket. You control them, why shouldn't we? How many people need to get hurt before you stop this? Pathfinder's got a point, Jennings. <sighs> Fine. But you can't protect us all the time, Pathfinder. Out here, we need every edge we can get. You said your parents were gone, Cora. What happened? Don't know. While I was away on training, their cargo freighter disappeared in the Attican Traverse. I looked for them every time I was posted that way. Nothing. That's rough. Not everything gets tied up in a bow. More of PB's remnant technology.
progress, right, Dad? Probably simple, but in a new galaxy and after I... Never mind. What are you talking about, kid? Sloppy in that last fight. Nasira would be scolding me for bad technique. She taught you just fine. You don't need hand holding. Just wish I felt steadier out here. All these new challenges. We're making it through. Sometimes that's all you need.
That's one receiver placed. People here should get the latest from the Nexus now. You can see all of Prodromos from up here. Won't be long before we build cities. The view we wanted for months after arrival. Just a simple outpost. The sheer top, because it is. I guess you run out of names eventually. Activating automated forward station deployment. Mining zones in this region are available, Pathfinder. I've added them to your nav system. Console activated. You'll need to stay in range. System access complete. I finished here. How is it breaking through? We are incapacitated. I'm guessing that's the cat in charge.
This place is massive. No wonder they were able to take out sites one and two. have been here probably before site one it takes time to build something like this disabled Pathfinder.
That's it. The base is offline. Everything is. Look down there. Probably smart to keep an eye on this place. Stay sharp, just in case. So peaceful around here with the Invictor dead.
Ascent is go. Leaving Apple. All clear. I think Lexi wanted to speak to you. Pet genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. If you and the rest of the team could figure them out, it might make a huge difference. Already on it, Pathfinder. I should get back to things. Sounds good? The hell you did? You can't just undo 10 hours of work. I had to. Your revamp risks power imbalance between decks, something we solved back home. It's twice as efficient, just because it doesn't match your sainted specs. And now it does. As you say, deal with it. Callo. I know, just please don't let this distract you. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Wait, Lexi. Your dad was Turian? That explains so much. What's that supposed to mean? Here we go. You know, how uptight you are. I am not uptight. Not even 300 years old and fussing at us like a matriarch. I'm a doctor. Fussing's part of the job. forward to kicking those guys in the teeth. Get us there, and we'll save you a place in line. Ah, oh, Ryder. Sorry for the mess. Who's your friend? An exalted cat. I called Jarl to show him. Ah, oh, there he is. Jarl, look at this. There's nothing Angara inside. The physical can be deceiving. I've run hundreds of tests. Only traces of the Angara genome remain. The Exalted are Ket. There must be a way to fix them. We need to be prepared that there might not be. Jarl, remember what we talked about? That we should examine the problem objectively? <sighs> Excuse me. Grief is never easy, but Jarl needs to accept that exaltation is permanent. Hope is good, but false hope is unhealthy. I appreciate your support. Jarl is part of this crew. His welfare is my responsibility. I know this job was a surprise, but you've really stepped up. And look, you got your cat sample. Their bodies are unlike anything I've seen. Centuries of gene stealing, crafted evolution. It's horrible, of course, but also fascinating. Glad you're settling in. Sink or swim, right? <sighs> I should probably clean this up before it starts to smell. Yes? I'll let you get back to it. I'll be here if you need me. Okay. 
Be careful around the ship, okay? It looks wise. And those are tool-using paws. Are you sure it's not more intelligent than us? Hello, Sarah. Sam, any more information on the memory trigger we found? A memory has unlocked and is available for further investigation. You will need to return to Sound Node in the Hyperion. Thanks, Sam. Nothing more. So, Kalu, who's that woman I keep seeing you with on the Nexus? What? Whom? You're always short of credits after we come back. Is it because of her? It's... complicated, Subi. We might have a problem. I was running some numbers, mass balances and such. The Tempest is carrying about 70 kilos of extra mass. I think something's aboard that doesn't belong. 70 kilos is enough mass for another person. Our internal sensors aren't getting anything, but they're not as powerful as a Pathfinder's scanner. Can you take a look? All right. I'll look around the ship and see what I can find. No extra mass in the airlock. Too bad. It'd be easy to get rid of it. All the mass readings in here are normal. Of course they are. Something up? I hope not. Got it. Suvi, that extra mass is behind the storage room bulkhead. Behind it? It looks like a construction mech welded right into the hull. Scanning the parts has activated an audio log. I think I know what that's about, Ryder. Come up to the bridge. Those parts you found welded in the storage room. I recognize them. From where? They belong to the ship's lead designer, Lucille Diawara. She broke her back during construction. But Lucille wouldn't abandon her ship. She converted a construction mech into a rig she could wear. She must have welded it into the hull. Her artist's signature. Not even a broken back could stop her dream. Sam, didn't you find an audio log with Lucille's rig? C can you play it? Sam found my construction gear then. Well done. One of you Pathfinders got the Tempest. Mason Barrow, Zevin Reka, Matriarch Ishara, Alec Ryder. You were the best of us. Dad's gone. Makes you wonder how many other Pathfinders made it. We'll find out. It's what you do. Take care of my ship and each other. Whatever is in Andromeda, you're the Milky Way to them. We are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. I never thought I'd hear Lucille's voice again. She really cared about the Pathfinders. Enough to give them her rig. For luck. Lucille made it a part of the Tempest. Let's keep it that way. I'll see to it, Ryder. Thanks. Now let's go make her proud.
foreign delegation arrives on the Nexus. Initiative Brass are now working to broker an alliance with the species. I don't know. Maybe I should have stayed home. Free for an interview? I'd like to know more about the Angara. It's not often a first contact goes so smoothly. At least the Angara are more peaceful than the Ket. There's high hopes for this alliance. The Angara have their own problems, and we're newcomers in their cluster. We need to work at this. The Angara soldier who joined your team has a few fans already, but everyone's talking about Aya. Green plants, flowing water? Our leaders have discussed whether we should send colonists there. Aya is a sovereign planet of the Angara. We have no right to settle there. Strong stuff. Here's hoping we don't need to. Okay, that's... Oh, a call from the director's office. Excuse me. We invite you to visit our merchants in the Nexus Commissariat. Things are still going smoothly without me. History is made. And we're happy to help your guards secure their weapons. I prefer them armed, for now. You understand, of course. Oh, Pathfinder, this is the head of the Angaran delegation. The one who saved the Moshai. She speaks highly of you. Call me Issa de Navar. We're glad to have you, Ambassador. Strong ties with the Angara will strengthen us both. To a good end, I hope. I was just explaining to the Ambassador that armed guards aren't necessary here. Is something wrong, Ambassador? Please walk with me, Pathfinder. So much life. All different, all united. The way it could have been. 75 years ago, we were scattered, struggling to rebuild after the Scourge. Then, the Ket arrived. Alien life. It was monumental. But then they deceived and enslaved us. So, I hope you understand my precautions. Your people have endured much, Ambassador. I'd be cautious too. Yet all this, your initiative, is proof there's a better way. I want to believe in this Alliance, Pathfinder. The Moshai says you're trustworthy. Please, help me trust in you. We don't expect you to enter this Alliance blindly, Ambassador. Everything we say, you can check. You'd be that open with us? We have nothing to hide. They'll surrender their weapons to your militia, if that's satisfactory. Thank you. We won't disappoint you, Ambassador. Havoa said Jav Jaravon, Pathfinder. Welcome to Andromeda. My people have several pronouns to identify themselves with. Perhaps I should prepare a document. Ryder, I just read the most fascinating histories about the conflict between the Geth and their Quarian creators. I feel like the Angara and the Quarians have so much in common. Really? How? We are both displaced, struggling against cruel enemies to save our home worlds. But the Ket just showed up here. That's not your fault. The Quarians created the Geth. Home is home. When home is not safe, the heart is sick from yearning. Interesting place, isn't it? Full of smiles and handshakes. Not many soldiers. 
Even though when politicians make peace, it's we soldiers who keep it. Politicians get nervous when you hold anything more explosive than a rotten egg. <laughs> You've seen this too. The military life echoes everywhere. But names. I know you, Pathfinder. I am Andrachno, a Heskarl with the Resistance. A Heskarl? Centuries ago, Heskarl were special forces. We defended colonies, passing our training down via oral history. Few remember us today. I came to learn what the Milky Way knows of such things. I heard your father was part of a similar program, an N7. What have you learned about the N7 program? Human soldiers who trained on exotic worlds. Arcturus, Europa, Rio de Janeiro. They learned to fight in all environments, on little food or sleep, to care for their injured, to lead. Is that accurate? Wasn't your father one of them? He was one of the first N7s. He was proud of that, even though he didn't stay in service. Didn't stop him teaching me and my brother a few tricks. So, you carry a little of that knowledge with you, as well as your Pathfinder skills. N7 training would benefit my people. Heskal training would benefit yours. Perhaps a few war games. Show me how your skills handle the tests of a Heskal recruit. Challenge yourself and teach me. A chance to work with the Angaran best of the best? Absolutely. Excellent. I'll activate our training beacons. Finding them can be your first test. After that, I look forward to learning. Those look horrifying. Dutch will love them. It was far from help, with neither food nor water in sight. All that remained to Janen was his broken ship. Writer, one of your father's memories is available. Let's see it. This memory is from when your parents returned to Earth, after your mother was diagnosed with her disease. It's simple. We take Sam. Who? I named the AI. Simulated Adaptive Matrix. Sam. We use your research and interface Sam with an implant. Um, my work on biotic implants was yielding results, but... This. I don't know. What did the doctor say? Alec. What did he say? It's getting worse. There's your answer. This will work. Sam can fix you. Alec, I'm not some war you have to win. You're not an N7 anymore. That doesn't mean we- They kicked you out of the Alliance for this. We're talking about your life. Alec. 
Did you ever consider that maybe it's my time to go? I'm human. We die. It happens. Ellen, please. Losing you is not an option. The kids aren't gonna lose their mother. God knows they never had a father. Then give them one. They just ask for a refund. So can this Sam talk yet? Hello, Ellen. Why did the tree go to the dentist? Um... To get a root canal. <laughs> Humor algorithms. I can't seem to get the hang of it. Or maybe it's the guy teaching them? That felt so real. Mom was right there. Alive. It was the first time I met Ellen. My education on human mortality began that day. Your mother seemed prepared to die. But Dad wasn't ready. Mom was just trying to prepare him. Even though all human beings one day expire. Yeah, but when it's someone you love, it's not that cut and dry. I'm beginning to understand where your father's resolve came from. Private audio logs are now available in your father's quarters. I detect additional memories, but they are currently locked. They may yet hold answers. Okay, I'll keep working on it. That's all for now. Of course. Your father's personal logs. says you're looking for me. It's not every day an XN7 looks for the Shadow Broker. Anything can be had, provided you can pay. Especially when the tech involves artificial intelligence. The Council will have specters all over my ass if they catch wind of this. Translation, I'll get you the code you want, but the price just doubled. If you try to renege, I've got people. People with guns. As a Quarian and historian, how do you view your people's reaction to the Geth? Well, we banned artificial intelligence, which was understandable, but that was taking a hammer to a rather delicate nail. Which was what? The very thing that sparked the revolt. The first Geth who asked us, Creator, does this unit have a soul? But how could it have a soul? Geth had no meaningful perceptions of the world or diversity of experiences we take for granted. Worse, the Geth saw us as the creator. The revolt was inevitable. We were their superiors, and they resented it. Give me that, Alec. We've heard enough of you talking. Right. So, here's the irony. My research on biotic implants and ESO caused this stupid disease. But maybe it'll save me, too. No maybe about it. Hey, this is my secret log. Anyway, the right type of implant, joined with the right type of AI, could actually bolster human physiology. Even as the disease is trying to kill me, the implant and Sam are counteracting it, keeping things balanced. Result? I get to hang around a little longer. Maybe collect on all those anniversary dinners this guy owes me.